Hood, 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 I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. In the past, DCU, I've known that, you know, they always ask for W-2s and pay stubs, but they've been hitting straight approvals, okay, y'all? So let's get straight into the updated data points with DCU. That way, when you guys hit them, you won't be confused and know how to run the play. So first of all, they will be pulling your check systems report for membership. So if you got something negative on your check systems, go to checksystems.com, pull up your report, see the negatives you have on there, and try to settle a payment with that institution you have that negative with, okay? Agree to have that negative removed because it's fucking you up from opening up checking accounts with other credit unions or other institutions in general so no hard pull on membership there's certain credit unions that hard pull you for membership but they will allow you to use that same hard pull for credit card applications which is called double dipping okay must be a member or or of organization or sec to join they have a little organization to join dcu so it's basically open nationwide for credit cards, they pull either your Equifax FICO 9 or Equifax Mortgage 4 or 5, okay? Uh, max exposure on credit cards is 100K. So that's better than Navy Fed. The max exposure with Navy Fed is 80K. And they have a flagship credit card, obviously, Navy Fed, that goes up to 80K, okay, y'all? But if you want 80K on that flagship credit card, you're going to have to have the other credit cards closed. So... They have more, you know, they're, they're willing to extend more funding to you when it comes to credit card applications. So that's better than Navy Fed. Max amount of credit cards is two. You know, that's where uh, Navy Fed beats them. Navy Fed, you can have, I think, is up to three or four credit cards. I really don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's three. Uh, they don't seem inquiry sensitive. That's where they beat Navy Fed. Okay, y'all. So Navy Fed... If you have a recent inquiry on that TransUnion credit report, you're going to get denied for funding. And also, too, with a business credit card, a business credit card pulls Experian on your report. OK, so if you got a recent inquiry, Navy Fed is very inquiry sensitive. But I will say this, OK, they're not inquiry sensitive when it comes to their own hard pulls, if that makes sense. From personal experience, I remember that. I was uh, trying to apply for an auto loan with Navy Fed, right, when I was first starting in the credit game. And I got a hard pull, right? But then when I applied for a credit card application, I got approved for funding, okay, y'all? So they're not very inquiry sensitive when it comes to, you know, the same inquiry. You get what I'm saying? The inquiry that comes from them. But if it's from another institution, best believe you're going to get denied, okay, y'all? So, uh, yeah, that's where uh, DCU beats them. Uh, what else? Hard pool lasts for 45 days. Okay, y'all. So look, this is the game changer where, you know, Navy Fed can't compete with DCU. Navy Fed doesn't allow double dipping. Okay. So especially when you stacking for credit cards, you want to go with an institution like DCU. And most institutions only allow you to do double dipping for 30 days. DCU is 45 days. 45 days. It gives you a larger window to uh, apply for a credit card, right? You get that you got that hard pool with DC, right? You apply for a credit card. Now you can use that same hard pool for 45 days on another application like a line of credit or an auto loan. Okay, y'all. So that's the benefit with DCU. Navy Fed does not allow double dipping, even though they're a credit union. So if you want to stack the most funding, you have to go with DCU. That's where the play is at. Okay. And then also, too, they offer a secure loan. I mean, that's similar to Navy Federal. You know, Navy Fed has a pledge loan. DCU has, they call it um, a credit builder loan, I think they call it. It goes up to 3.5K maximum or 3K maximum. And then also, too, like I said, the final data point where Navy Fed beats them is expect to submit three months of pay stubs or W-2s. But like I told you guys, I've been seeing recent approvals when it comes to their credit cards with stated income applications they haven't been asking for documentation okay y'all so it's uh, it's like a hit or miss it's like a 50 50 chance if i'm keeping it a stack with you guys but with navy fed we all know that they're straight stated income applications i don't remember one application in the past where people have been asked for documentation when it comes to Navy Fed, okay, y'all. So uh, I say that's where Navy Fed beats on that. But when it comes to that double dipping, that's like the real sauce right there. That's where you can, you know, extend the most funding where you can't do that with Navy Fed. But yeah, y'all, that's the updated data points with DCU. 
Hopefully y'all enjoyed this quick little video. Y'all have a good day. The hood rich way. Come.